While AutoCAD has a wide variety of buttons to launch commands, commands and their options can also be accessed using your keyboard, the command line, and menus. When drawing basic shapes, this may be the fastest method. In this demonstration, I will draw some basic shapes using the keyboard to start commands and enter required data. I will also use the dynamic input tool to examine the dimensions of existing objects. To draw a shape, I can enter the full name of the required command and respond to the prompts at the command line with the keyboard entries and mouse clicks. To speed up drawing, if I want to repeat my most recently used command, I can simply press enter and the command starts again. I can also increase my productivity by using command aliases. Command aliases enabled me to enter only one or two characters to start a command instead of entering the full name of the command. This method can easily make command line entry the fastest way to get a command started. When I am prompted to specify points in the graphics area, as with line endpoints, one option is to enter specific XY coordinates. However, as seen here, I can also enter the distance and angle necessary to get my next endpoint. It is often convenient to review a history of my most recently used commands. When I open the command history window, I can see a history of all commands, options, and data I have used in my drawing session. The dynamic input mode enables me to examine information about the objects in the graphics area. It shows information about my objects as they are created and, as shown here, I can also use it to examine data about existing objects. Inputting data at the command line is a necessary and regular part of using AutoCAD. While other options do exist for starting commands, completing a command frequently requires one or more command line entries.